Okay, so let's go ahead and explore Sora. So first things first, when you're on ChatGPT, you're gonna click this icon to open up the sidebar. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select Sora. Alternatively, what you can also do is simply go to sora.chatgpt.com. So initially it's gonna bring you to the explore page where you can see what other people are creating. You can simply click on anything you'd like and you see the prompt that the user used in order to go ahead and achieve the actual image or video. And then you can actually remix it or edit the prompt for yourself. And it's actually really interesting because sometimes you think these are simple prompts. For example, this picture here. But if you go ahead and click on the image and we select edit prompt, you will see that it's actually a very, very long prompt to go ahead and achieve this exact image. So with that being said, if you select images, it's going to show you a lot of the popular images that were recently created. If you want, you can like some of them and they will end up in your likes section here. You can also go to video and in the video section, you're going to see a lot of videos. Now I did notice that sometimes there's just straight up images in the video section. I'm not sure why, because this is an image. We can even see it says image prompt, but it is clearly showing up in the video section. So maybe OpenAI can address that. If we select top, this is going to show you the top liked images and videos that happened recently. And then if we come over here to the likes tab, this is also a little bit of an error on OpenAI's part. It says videos you like in explore show up here. But the reality is if we take a look at explore, it has a lot of images too. And if I just like an image, then if I go to likes, it'll appear there. So I don't know why it says videos that you like when images that we like appear there too. But I digress, let's go ahead and create something. So I wanna explain these options here. So let me explain the options here. So one thing we can do is actually upload an image from the device and then ask it to remix it somehow or give it some sort of guidance. We can also tweak this and instead of image, we can ask for a video. This controls the aspect ratio. So if you want it to be a square, you select one by one. If you want it to be horizontal, three by two and two by three. Those are the only options we have. This is the amount of variations that we want. So for the plan that I have, I pay $20 a month through ChatGPT. Two images is the most that I could get. And we also have a preset here. Now, if we select presets, we see that OpenAI has created some presets of styles that it thinks we'll like. For instance, cardboard and papercraft. The theme is cardboard and papercraft. The color, earthy tones like brown, blah, blah, blah. Then you have balloon world, whimsical stop motion. So if you want, you can go ahead and actually create your own. I went ahead and did this here. So I went ahead and created a preset in the style of Monet. I actually used ChatGPT to help me write the actual preset. It was helpful. And I uploaded two images of Monet's popular paintings so that it can learn from that. And now if I go ahead and I ask for something, let's do something like two sloths in a UFC mixed martial arts fight. And then I'll go ahead and select Monet. And you see here, we get some sloth MMA showdown oil canvas style paintings. It even has the name UFC on it. This really is in the style of Monet. This is really impressive. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the type and we'll select video. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna select aspect ratio, which is basically just the proportional relationship between the width and height. So over here, you could see we could select the square one by one, two by three. Now I like to do 16 by nine because it's the size of my actual screen so that if I go ahead and make it full screen, it'll perfectly fit in. And also the resolution here. This is important because if you choose 480p, yes, it's gonna be lower resolution, but you'll be able to work a lot more swiftly. However, if you choose 720p, it's not only four times slower, it is gonna be higher resolution and it's typically what I work with, but we have limited options. Cause look, the duration of the video, we're gonna get only five second option. We can't do the 10, 15 or 20 second option. And I am currently using Chad GPT 4.0, I just pay about $20 a month for it. And you'll also see that the variations, we only get up to two videos, not four videos. That being said, if we choose the lowest resolution, which is 480p, we can now make videos up to 10 seconds and we can have the option of four versions, which can be quite 
helpful. So what I'm gonna ask for is two sloths in a UFC mixed martial arts fight with a referee in the octagon. Something I wanna point out about the prompt, and the prompt is just the way you communicate with these AI platforms, is you don't wanna make it too complex. Remember, this is a clip generator, not a motion picture generator. You can't describe, you know, long plots and stuff like that because it's just there to generate short clips of five or 10 seconds each. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this higher resolution. I'll make it 720p. And again, the duration will be five seconds and only two versions because that's the max of what we can do. Now, if I want, I can go ahead and select a preset, but I don't want it to be Monet or cardboard and paper craft, balloon world or anything like that. I'm gonna leave it as none. And we can also add an actual image here that it will turn into a video. We'll do that in a moment. But for now, let's just see what it does with this prompt here and these settings. I'll send it through. So this is super impressive. I'm like blown away by the capabilities of Sora. This is exactly what I wanted. Two sloths basically wrestling each other in a UFC octagon. He even has the red UFC shorts. The referee is doing a good job. It looks like he's paying attention and being a referee. This is absolutely amazing. As far as B-roll footage, or if you're writing a story and you wanna create something or as a content writer, to go ahead and add different types of clips and footage. I mean, this is amazing. We don't need to purchase stock photos and videos anymore. We can just create with these generative AI tools. So if I like this, I can go ahead and select this download icon here and it will simply download it to my device. I can go ahead and publish and share it to Sora. I can give feedback if I don't like what it provided and I could select favorite if I want to go ahead and locate it later. There's also an option to add it to folder and I should explain what that is. So we do have folders here that if we scroll down, we can add a new folder, which is really helpful if you're working on a certain project but I'm not gonna do it for this one. Now you see these options here, I wanna discuss those. So the first is edit prompt. We can go ahead and revise our prompt if we don't like what we got, or maybe we like it, we wanna make it slightly different. If we select the recut, we can actually trim the video and rework it, or we can even extend the video as well. So if we select slip, it will actually slip in a new clip. If we select split, it will actually split the videos. Now, if I want to slightly edit something and basically make a minor change or even a major change, but keep the overall video, the remix tool is amazing for that because it will create new videos based on this one. So I can simply hit remix. So once I click it, it's asking me to describe the change to the video. So what I'll ask for is more lights in the stadium. So I will say, add more lights to the stadium. I'll keep it at 720p. Remember the variations, the most we get is two and this is the remix strength. Now this is important because if we keep it at strong, it's gonna make significant changes to the original video. If we keep it mild, it's gonna just create noticeable changes to original video and subtle is minor changes to original video. If you wanna really get crafty with it, we can actually select custom and then you'll see this remix strength option here and we could select the custom strength of the video. So here, I'm actually gonna go between mild and subtle and see what kind of result we get there. Now remember, Remix cannot make changes to the length of the video. It'll just change and make further iterations on the video itself. So now I'll send it through, I'll select Remix. So here we see the result and we don't really see too many changes because the remix strength is four. I'm gonna go ahead and enhance the remix strength and see if that helps the situation. So let me go back to the video that we were using and I could do that by selecting my media. I'll go back to this video here. I'll select remix and then I'm gonna select strong remix. I'll go ahead and remix it again. And now we see the results here, but the problem is, and this is good that I'm showing you this, we did too strong of a remix, so it actually switched up the video a lot. And you see that some glitchy stuff is occurring. It did add a lot more lights to the actual stadium, but you see that the two sloths, like one of them disappears, comes back as a hologram or whatever. I mean, it's still exciting, but it's giving a lot more creativity and it's starting to differ from the original video a lot. Like this one, one of the sloths, turns into a human that then starts beating the sloth, which is actually quite interesting. But I wanna show it to you as is. I don't wanna show this perfect product. A lot of the tutorial videos do that. 
want to show you exactly how it goes. And sometimes you don't quite get the result that you're looking for. Now, I want to show a really cool option that you could do for video. What you can do is you can actually add an image. So over here, I went ahead and created Elon Musk yelling at Taylor Swift. I did it on mid journey. What I'll do is I will download this image. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to upload the image from my device. And I'm just going to describe it as man and woman yelling at each other. I'll keep the aspect ratio the same. I'll increase the resolution. I will make it five seconds and let's select the two video option and the preset. I'm not going to select any preset because I want it to keep this flavor and style of the video to the image that I uploaded. And then I will simply click create video. So let me now show you the results that we get. So in the first one, Elon Musk turns into a brunette who's now arguing with Taylor Swift. And it's funny because she gets very surprised as he turns into a brunette. <laughs> and also in the other option, we have both of them completely change genders. I suppose they're gender fluid and they start arguing with each other. But it's interesting and they almost like kiss each other. This is quite an odd uh, video, but a lot of imagination here. But this is how it works. I mean, these generative AI tools are not perfect. It's a lot of trial and error until you get exactly what you're hoping for. Now here, I'm going to try to do something interesting. We're going to try to get this video with the two people yelling at each other turn into this video with the two sloths fighting one another. And let's see if we can blend these two in. So let's try this out. So I will select this video of Elon Musk and Taylor Swift, who then turns into a brunette and I will select blend and I will choose from library and I'll select the two sloths fighting and I can actually mess around with the blend curves, but I want to keep this video quite simple. So I'll just hit blend and now take a look at how amazing this is. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. The blend feature is stunning in OpenAI Sora. It does a seamless job, even though this is such different scenes of them just morphing into sloths and then starting to fight each other. The other generation that they created is this one here, which is even more amusing. <laughs> I mean, I've been having so much fun creating this tutorial and messing around with OpenAI Sora. It's uh, quite an entertaining tool. Now there is a loop option here, and this is a way that you can make this be an endless loop happening over and over again. So something that I want to do is cut the video short here because I want to see if people are interested in this tutorial. And if you are, let me know if you'd like for me to make a much more detailed video where I'll also describe how to create storyboards, how to do different types of blends and really showcase the full power of OpenAI Sora. Let me know if you wish for me to create a tutorial on that. I appreciate all of you for tuning into this video in its entirety, and hopefully I'll see some of you in the next one.